Double Masters 2022 is not over. It's only going to get worse. How could one little box bring so much happiness in one hand and so much frustration on the other? Welcome back everyone. MTG Moxman here. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me on the channel today. You know, when you look to see Double Masters 2022, when you step back and look at the cards held within it, the value in this product, it's truly tremendous. There are cards for everyone. Some players will consider the commons chaff, while other players are going to say that's going in a popper deck. It's just, it's so jam-packed full of goodness everywhere that so many players will get to benefit from the cards held within the set. I mean, Wizards has outdone itself. They've given us Double Masters 2022, not just for now, but for years to come. The nostalgic flavor that will go along with this product and being able to hit it right, you know, the right way to rub the players. Yeah, players may gripe about the price, but when you look at what's held within it, there's a lot of happy, contented players out there right now. Because for every player who got that textured foil they really wanted, there's a group of players out there who got to pick up the commons, uncommons, and rares of lower value they've always wanted to get, but didn't want to spend five, six bucks for each one. Now they're getting them for pennies on the dollar. When you look at the draft box, that's going to be in print for a while. It's going to get restocks. That's great. It's going to come around a few times. It does have that hefty price tag, but expect some of your LGSs to slowly, you know, wind that price down a bit as the product becomes less desirable because of the price point and the market being so flush with cards right now. But what we're talking about are the collector boxes. These do not get restocked. Sure. There could be a pallet out there or two pallets out there with thousands of boxes still maybe. Who knows? But those boxes are going to be allocated out to stores slowly over time. There'll be a few bigger LGSs that get a couple extra boxes here and there. But I know how that works in the last little while when like Modern Horizons 2 is out there and stuff. You see the stores ordering. You see how it happens and how it gets laid out. Nobody's getting a mass amount. It'll be trickled out. And most of the small LGSs out there are already sold out. You can go to Amazon. You can go to some of the bigger LGSs. And they're going to have some in stock for you still. But you got to remember that even them, those people who contain the boxes, they don't have an unlimited supply. And as the stock starts to get used up, as players walk in, now, a few days a week, somebody buys one box. So maybe three or four boxes move every week, but it's week after week that eventually the inventory on those LGSs gets lower and they don't want themselves to be left with no boxes. They want to have a few around themselves just to put on the shelves, show off to people and let them know how great that product was. And then when a big whale comes in and says, I can afford whatever the price is of the box at that time, they're still going to sell the odd one, but at a premium that they've already paid for by clearing out inventory years before. This product is going to be very investable. I can see it right now. People are kind of forgetting that we've already had experiments like this. When we saw Commander Legends boxes, remember the print run of that with the jeweled lotus full art foil? And remember that, that card is still going for like $700. There's been a few test runs to see how products like this will, will you know age. And although collector boxes themselves are not that old, you know, the first one being with Throne of Eldraine, you're getting the feel for what it's going to be like. In Double Masters, we had the VIP packs. Look how expensive those are now. And that's for an, a single pack with some unique artwork in there. It is nice. It's beautiful stuff. And they are appreciating nicely in value. So now when you start thinking about that LGS getting low on stock, low on inventory, and the average player can't really afford to buy it there, they might be looking, you know, they might be looking out there for the, for the odd loose pack, right? They're going to look for that loose pack and say, I'm just going to buy a pack. You know, they're sealed. There could still be something awesome in there. And in most cases, it probably will be. I mean, who knows long term how those things break down. But it could be there. You could still have some fun. Open a single pack instead of buying an expensive box. 
But that sealed product premium that goes along with this, that's already happened with double masters, that already happened with the VIP packs, what will happen to Modern Horizons 2, the sealed stuff will go higher. It's going to continue to climb. And the nostalgic factor will come years later on products like Double Masters 2022. Remember that euphoric feeling we all had when we saw the spoilers and saw our first box openings. Saw those first YouTubers putting that stuff out there and just jumping in saying, I can't wait. Imperial Seal, this was the first time it was reprinted. I remember Moxman paying 225 bucks Canadian for that pre... You see where I'm going with this? There is going to be that feeling, that vibe that goes along with it that just can't be underrated. Feelings and memories go a long way to influencing us, influencing us how we do things. Look at my backdrop. I've got He-Man. Robotech, G.I. Joe, Transformers. Because that's the stuff I grew up with. And Magic's no different. For every player in their 50s and 40s, there are players in their 20s and 30s who crack their very first pack. And this may be the very first product that some friends talk them into. For anyone who kept sealed boxes or is planning on keeping sealed stuff, I think you'll do very well. I myself couldn't afford to amass that much, but I get it. It's amazing because that is something that will have whales, high rollers who will be buying those boxes later in life. And younger players who get good paying jobs may come back and say, man, I never could afford that back then. I'm diving into this now because the value in these cards, it's not going to disappear overnight. Well, the draft boxes will get reprinted. There will be some restocks. It's still an expensive premium product. The collector boxes are not coming back. They will become more rare. And all these amazing cards that are flush onto the market right now, they're not going to stay on the market. It's not going to stay flush. It's going to get eaten up. It's going to be pac man And before you know it, Prices will rise. And there'll be another new reprint set where some of these cards will be contained within if it gets too pricey. And there'll be some new cards rotated in, other cards rotated out. Finite resources, though. And you look at that and you say, I got you. I remember this set. And people will go back and buy it. Because all the cards in there are not going to lose value that way. Certain cards may go down. And then you're going to see certain cards go back up because they waited a longer time between the reprints. I mean, some cards are bouncing back already. At the time of this video, you're probably already seeing some cards already start to trend upward. This is something that you might want to think about if you're a person who's here got sealed product, kudos to you, or a person who's thinking about it. You could wait and see if the boxes go down a little bit. We see the, you know, see if things settle. As you know, we get closer to Dominaria United and to the Brothers War, money will move on. And there might be a slight trending down of pricing where the stores put a little bit of a discount for you so they can churn and burn a few extra copies of boxes and singles to move on to the next product. And that might be your chance to grab a box or two. I don't know. That's for each person to decide. I know how expensive it is, though. So only certain people are going to do it. I know the stores don't plan on hoarding lots of it because it costs too much to keep in the inventory. But it is an amazing product. They, they hit this one all the way to the moon and coming back down. It hit the moon so hard with value and excitement. It hit it and it's coming back. It's just the way it is for this product. It's going to be amazing. I mean, what can you say? It's amazing. I'm just going to keep saying that because I believe it. And when enough people believe it, it's truth, right? Isn't that how people look at it? Look at the value of the cards. Yeah, lots are trending down right now, but they're going to stay down. As people buy them and there's less out there, the ones that are left will cost a little bit more. They will go up in value. And then Wizards will do their reprint. See, it's a nice little cycle we got going here. Whew. One little box with so much fun in it, but at the same time, frustration later saying it was so expensive. Three years from now, when people say, these boxes are like $600 now for four packs... That's 150 bucks a pack. And then people will say, yeah, but they used to be $80 a pack, $90 a pack. Right? Hindsight's 2020, people. Anyway, thanks a lot for hanging out with me on the channel. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a slam dunk. 
Thanks for chilling out. Thanks for hanging with me. Put those comments in the comment section. How do you feel about this product? I know you've got that feeling now, but where do you think it's going to go? Let me know if you're happy. Yay or nay. Hate it. Hope it never happens again. This is the stuff I want to hear about. And if you're new to the channel, guys, don't forget. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And remember, you're helping me get closer to 20,000 subscribers. Our next big goal. Can't wait to see your comments. Everyone have a wonderful day. Have an awesome day. I'm just going to hug this a little close. I'm going to hug these packs and just, you know, rub them on my head and remember how great it was. I wish I had more. That, that's all. You wish you had more. And of course, the patrons, the ones who make these videos possible. Guys, these videos are brought to you by the fantastic patrons of my channel. Without their support, these videos wouldn't be happening. Patrons rock. Thanks again. I know. After credit scene. After credit scene for the special people. The people who hang out to the end of the video. The people who shop smart and shop at S-Mart. I mean, it's the only place to go. You got that, right? You know, I was thinking more on this product and I, I didn't buy, like I bought enough of the patron stuff. I made sure I had an extra box, but I really wish I had bought more at the pre-release pricing. You know, that 309, they had it for a while. I should have bought a couple more boxes. I didn't really have the cash, but I knew I should have bought it. You can see how this product's going to unfold now. It blows my mind. And here we are at the end of the video, reminiscing hindsight 2020. Hindsight's only like seven days ago. And yes, I can still get more, but you're paying an extra like $70 a box right now. So I'm hoping at some point there might be, you know, Christmas time, maybe a little bit of a deal. I can dream. I can put on my Santa hat and say, come on, help me out. I've been a good boy. Who knows? Yeah, you guys will know. You guys will know. Because I'll put stuff out there. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks for chilling with me. Shop smart, shop S smart. Swallow your soul. And don't forget, Bruce Campbell is in all the Sam Raimi movies, which means all the Spider-Man movies, too. It's awesome. Multiverse of Madness. Oh, yeah. Mow the long weekend. You know it's true. Have an awesome one, everyone.